Hey guys, welcome to another workout. Today it's all about knees. Uh, we've got a specific workout to keep your knees happy and healthy. Um, really building stability in your feet and your glutes and hips so you can avoid any running um, knee pain or runner's knees. Um, the workout itself is a 16 minute workout going at 40 seconds on, 20 seconds off. Really focusing on keeping those knees nice and healthy. Um, first exercise I'll show it to you before I start the timer. We're literally going to grab onto our heel, hand straight up. We're going to come halfway down, come back, step to the other foot, same thing on the other side. So we're just looking for that one second, getting that stretch through the quad, building stability in your foot, and moving on to the next side. All right, we're going to do that twice um, at 40 seconds on and continue on with the workout. All right, we're going to start in three, two, one. All right, let's go. So really trying to get one second. So you're getting that stretch in your quad. And at the same time, building stability in your foot. Make sure you don't go down till you balance. You can keep going, I'll turn around. Really getting that stability in your foot to the next level. Almost there, last four seconds. All right, good, 20 seconds off, we're gonna do that again. So just making sure when you do this exercise, your foot stays straight. So you're gonna to come to about this much, you don't have to go too far, go to the next one. But just making sure that foot is straight and you're not compensating by opening it up. All right, let's go again. So obviously what you do want to be doing as well is form rolling your quads. That would really, really help with any knee pain so nothing is not pulling onto the knee. Tight quads would be one of the main reasons of um, runner's knees as well. So at the same time that you're building flexibility there, a little bit of form rolling would really help as well. Just a bit of balance. Last one. Alright, let's go nice and easy single legged deadlifts. Really simple and basic, straight foot. We're gonna go down, touch, come up, down, touch. So we're just looking to touch just in front of our foot here and come back up. All right, let's go. We're starting with our left. So down, bending the knee a little bit, coming back up. Nice and controlled. Both hips are facing forward. So as I go down, both of my knees are facing forward. I try and relax with my foot. Just concentrate to keep that balance. Having a strong base means that your foot will not collapse when you run, which means that your knee won't collapse. All right, well done. Give yourself 20 seconds, catch your breath. We're gonna go exactly the same thing on the other side. So really making sure when you are going down, you're not opening up with your hip. So your hips are gonna stay forward and down the whole way as you go down. All right, we're gonna be going on our right side this time. Straight down. Focusing on that hip. Facing down. Not opening up through it. Just a slight knee bend. Building that stability. So we are touching in front of our body. It's a little bit different than touching your toes. We're getting that knee to really stabilize through, as well as a lot of foot stability. All right, well done. We're gonna go into clump shells. So literally coming down onto the ground. You're gonna come down, bend to about 90 degrees through here. Have your head underneath your head 
and literally just going into it here. We're starting with the right side. Let's go with the right side first. You can come into here just to fill it a little bit more. So really targeting the glutes here. So you bring your chest to face the ground. That way you feel it just a tiny bit more right in the gluteus maximus. It's nice and controlled through it. Having those strong glutes will mean that you won't collapse, your hip won't drop. And that means less knee pain. All right, exactly the same thing on the other side. So again, we're gonna fall in a little bit. That way I can feel it a little bit more into the, in the glute. All right, let's go. Left side this time, nice and controlled. Pretty basic exercise, but very beneficial for runners. Just keep it with control, don't go too fast. Should be feeling it right in the middle of your butt there, the middle of the glute. Almost there. Alright, well done. Staying on the ground, I'm going to go into almost a side plank. So I'm going to have this knee bent. So my left knee is bent and I'm literally just going to go straight up, building stronger hips. Alright, so that knee is bent through here, so it's not straight. Alright, let's go right side first. Nice and controlled through it. Don't rush through it, you should start feeling it after a few sets. That would really help with not getting the hips collapsing when you run, which means that the knees won't collapse, which means that your knees will stay happier for longer. That's seven seconds here. All right, well done. Same thing on the other side. So again, I'm gonna bring my elbow onto the ground, try and stay with straight lines. I'm gonna try and have that knee in line with my body. And then from here, going straight up, staying strong with the hip. All right, let's go. So not the most exciting exercises in the world but very effective in keeping your knees happy, healthy and strong. Halfway there. Nice and controlled straight lines. Last nine seconds. All right, well done, we're halfway there. So we're gonna come up and again, we're gonna go into that stretch with the balance. So we step forward, come to about here, feel a little stretch in your quad, step forward, opposite hand goes up. Just fold in a little bit before you go into the next one. All right, let's go. So we're really getting that foot stability up as well as that mobility through that knee by stretching out the quad. Again, I'm gonna turn around. You can keep going in the same spot, same direction. You don't have to fall too far. It's about here will do it. Make sure you feel a little stretch in your quad so you pull at the same time. All right, give yourself 20 seconds. I'm gonna do that again. So as you step forward, make sure that you actually pull this back a little bit so you feel that stretch in your quad. Right, shake your legs five seconds. 
I'm gonna do it again. Building that control. Up on the side. So keep it straight lines with your feet. You wanna make sure that you don't open up and compensate. So those feet have to stay in a straight line. Keep looking down to make sure that they are straight. Almost there, last period, 10 seconds to go. Just control, relax with your foot. Last one, quick one in. All right, shake your legs. We're gonna go into single legged deadlifts with a reach forward, all right? So instead of going into here, we rather look to go, if I can get my balance, we rather look and touch in front of our body and go up. All right, let's go. Left legs first, opposite hand to opposite leg. So keeping those hips level. So I'm really looking when I'm going down for those hips to face forward and not open up. You're relaxing through the foot, not grabbing that ground with a big toe. Focusing on a few things here, hips facing forward, relax with the foot. And obviously to stay balanced. Last one. Alright, well done. Same thing on the other side, right side. So again, really trying to make sure that that base foot is straight. So you're not doing this. Alright, so you're not coming down and that foot is open. We want that foot straight. Alright, right side this time. Left hand straight up. Touching in front of you. Coming up all the way. So my arm goes together with my body. It's not like you lift the arm and then the body goes up. They're pretty much connected. So as your body comes down, the arm comes down, and then you come back together. So we are keeping that control. And building that stability. Alright, well done. I'm gonna get onto the ground for clamshells. So starting with the right side. So again I'm gonna create that kind of 90 degrees. I'm gonna go down and pretty much bring my shoulders down. So I can feel it just a little bit more. All right, let's go. So if this becomes too hard, you can open up your shoulders and create a straight line with your chest. If this is a bit too easy, you can just fold in a little bit. So you target those glutes just a little bit more. Almost there. Just go slow with control. Last two here. Alright, well done. 20 seconds, catch your breath. We're going to go on the other side. So again, I'm going to drop my chest so I can feel it a little bit more. If you're feeling it already, you can stay upright with your chest. As long as you stay in control and you get that knee high up. Doing well. Let's get through it. We're almost done here. Really going to get strong knees. Again, like all those workouts, it's about consistency. It's about making sure that you come back and redo this workout a few times to get those knees healthy and happy. All right, well done. I'm gonna go on that side plank with the knee bent. So again, I'm in here, so front on. 
getting confused here. So you will look like this. So you see how my knee's bent. So it's not straight on. It's a knee's gonna stay bent. And we're gonna come straight up. So that way we can really focus on the glute and not focused on trying to work, hold that side plank. So we're making it a little bit easier so that way we can really target the glute here. Staying with straight lines. Last 15 seconds. Almost there. Last few. Stay strong. Four. Two. One. Well done. Last one. We're going to go to the other side. So again, I'm going to get that base by bending that knee and going straight up. All right, we're going to go in five seconds. Catch your breath. Let's get the form right here. All right, hip up. Straight up. Slowly with control. You want to make sure you go straight and you don't go backwards. Almost there. Last 22 seconds. Stay strong. Keep your hips up. Don't let that hip drop. Last 10 seconds. And good workout. The knees will thank you for it. All right, well done. So another pretty easy workout in many ways. So a workout that you can do on your harder running days, but a workout that you do want to come back to if you ever had any knee pains, um, runner's knee, jumper's knee, whatever you call it, pain underneath your knee on the side of your knee. You want to come back, rebuild that strength in your feet and glutes. And if you can stay consistent with that, your knee should stay happy for a very, very long time. And again, a lot of foam rolling onto the quads. So get a foam roller, foam roll those quads quite often and that way it's not going to pull on that knee joint and you're not going to get that pain underneath that knee. Hopefully you enjoyed that workout. If you did, smash that like button and I'll see you in the next workout. Peace.